Tonight, live from R&B's house, American Fish Company presents Southport Live. Each week's concert is to benefit Southport's nonprofit organization, Up Your Arts. Tonight's featured artist, Dr. Ronnie Weinstein with saxophonist Jody Zeugner. And now, here's the host of our show, the lovely and talented Christine Martinez. Yay! I think we got it figured out. Let us know that you can hear us, please. I wish I'd brought my phone over here with us, but I think that we are good now. Welcome to Southport Live. I got tickled. My sister said it looked like... Yeah, this is our do-over. My sister said, it looked like you were saying lovely things. Believe it, I did the most eloquent opening. I hate that you missed it before. But thank you for joining us to Southport Live. And um, one of the things that we were talking about is all that it entails to make something like this happen. Uh, there's a lot of technology. So when you're the guy who is, owns the studio and gets all the equipment together and you're the musical guest, it's a lot to take on, so we got to give it up for Ronnie, and for and sure. Um, we've got Beverly part of things today. We're running camera looking quite lovely in red. I hope you get to see her. And Jason Poulin is here, too. Sound um, evolution. Which the talk of the town is now that he's the new drummer in CMB because of a picture I posted. No, he was helping us with sound, and I... Yeah. <laughs> Um, Southport Live is a birth child of, of Ronnie, who like, I had talked about um, before in my eloquent speech earlier um, about how God bless and thank God for the, the artist, but blessed be the getters done. And uh, Ronnie is definitely one of those people because it's not mutually exclusive is what I, is what I think the point I was trying to make. So Ronnie... Um, opened up his home, came up with this idea, and of course didn't do it halfway. There's no half-assed business going on in the Weinstein house. And um, Up Your Arts was a perfect partner and American Fish because of the, um, the open mics and um, all that they brought to us who didn't love our Thursdays. So this is our, you know, our way of keeping it going during this crazy, crazy time. So Ronnie! You did it. We're live. It's all happening. Yeah. So, and it's perfect timing. I really planned on s starting at seven fifteen anyway, <laughs> from nine thirty this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here now. We're doing it now, and uh, we'll skip ahead so we can get to the music. Yeah. But you were just we, we want to talk about Joe <laughs> Jody Zoigner, who um, speaking of the open mics and and the jams, because Southport, as I've mentioned, I think each week so far seems to be a, a beacon for musicians and artists. Um, you never know what you're going to get at these open mics and these jams. And, of course, Ronnie and Dennis have their uh, Sunday jam that's been going on a long time. And through that, da -da -da, Jody came along. Uh, we learned through a Dennis story last week that perhaps you were a bit of a stalker with yeah, Tony. Yeah, kind of. It maybe it got blown out of proportion. But... <laughs> Uh, I, I knew Jody had lived close by because he was at the jam, and he said, hey, you mind if I sit in? I said, sure, what do you play? He said, saxophone. So I said, well, you have it with you? He said, no, but I could walk to my house and get it. Ah. So sure enough, I figured out what street he lived on, and I literally knocked on every door until <laughs> this uh, young woman answered the door, and I said, uh, is there a Jody that lives here? <laughs> and she said, well, that's my dad, as she steps out of the door and then closes it behind <laughs> her. This is creepy like a guy. But fortunately, later on, uh, uh, Jody uh, vetted me with, with his daughter, and here we are today. So <laughs> you meet some incredible musicians through these, these open mic scenarios, and there's a lot of networking that takes place there. And I'm certainly grateful for Jody uh, adding all the embellishment to make me sound... Uh, as good as I possibly can to give me a version <laughs> 1.5. Jody uh, lives in Cary here part time, and uh, you've got a band right now that you play in. I do. I play in a band called the Groovinators. The Groovinators, excellent. Shout out to the Groovinators. <laughs> We'll have to get you guys to come play here somewhere in town. Reverb.com slash groovin like groovy naters. Groovy nator, groovy naters. Well, let's get a good taste of this. Let's jump right into it. Ronnie, tell them about what you're going to play right now. Uh, uh, basically tonight. Southport is, Live. Yes, yeah, Southport Live tonight is one of my musical journeys of all the different uh, things that have been incorporated into my life that have become a part of my musicality, part of the genre and part of uh, all that is me music. So it goes way back, and this tune is a Leonard Cohen tune 
That was performed by Jennifer Warnes. It's four in the morning, the end of December. I'm writing to you now just to see if you're better. New York is cold, but I like where I'm living. The music on Clinton Street all through the evening. I hear that you're building your little house. We're living for nothing now Hope you're keeping some kind of record And Jane came by with a lock of your hair She said that you gave it to her That night that you planned to go clear Did you ever go clear? Ah, the last time we saw you You looked so much older Your famous blue rain coat Was torn at the shoulders You'd been to the station To meet every train You came home without Lily Marlene And you treated my woman to a flake of your life And when she came back She was nobody's wife Well, I see you there With a rose in your teeth One more thin gypsy thief Well, I see Jane's away She sends her regards tell you, my brother, my killer, what can I possibly say? Oh, I guess I miss you. I guess I forgive you. I'm glad you stood in my way. And if you ever come by here, be it for Jane or for me, we're
Famous blue raincoat. Okay, so we got the first one out of the way. So a little bit of the. Uh, so now we're going to do a tune. Uh, Dennis Walton and I once were sitting down, and uh, he told me about this group, and I said, "Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the that's the group, and it's uh, Mark Amon." And he said, "You know Mark Amon?" So Dennis is a little bit of a brother from another mother musically, and uh, so I'm going to shout this one out to Dennis called "What Am I Living For." job. I was singing in a band. And every payday come around, I took my money from the man. Now it's sped old said that wisely, boy. Oh, save it while you have the time I got drunk on the stand and I blew up the band now you'll find me in the unemployment line I said hey what am I living for I said hey what am I living for why am I giving all my life to bring up my family, children, and wife. Tell me, my friends, hasn't that been done before? Till the sun don't shine And I came home one morning early And I found her With a friend of mine Now it's not so much that I need her Oh God had to stay away 
So I pack my bags and I hit the road and I've never seen her to this day. I said, hey, what am I living for? I said, hey, what am I living for? Oh, am I giving all my life to bring up my family, children, and wife? Tell me, my friends, hasn't that been done before? Mark Almond, what am I living for? This takes me back. This tune here is a uh, Michael Franks tune. As you can probably gather from the tunes that I'm playing, they're not necessarily your sing-along kind of tune. There's uh, no real Jimmy Buffett in here. I love Jimmy Buffett. I've seen Jimmy Buffett multiple times. I've had injected watermelons at Jimmy Buffett's uh, uh, concerts, but... I'm not the Jimmy Buffett kind of performing guy. Touched a watercolored farm, landscapes painted by Sissy, like lovers floating, painted by Chagall. But you, I would, you were there, thought the rush would never end, thought the sky. Sky would never fall. Oh, we live, oh, we love, we laugh, and we cry. We never die. And now I think of you and I change right into Mr. Blue. You say you love her by your lace. I say it's fine. Like his face, I guess you still think love will conquer all. I know it's not what you think. I only hope it stays inside. I only want, only want to wish you well. Oh, we live, oh, we love, we laugh, we cry. We never die now As I think of you And I turn right into Mr. Blue Should never end. 
we thought the sky, the sky would never fall. Oh, we live, we love, we laugh, we cry, we never die. Now I think of you and I change right into Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue. Now, taking it back to uh, you, if anybody that's ever played keyboards uh, certainly had to embrace the incredible quality uh, and the, just the soulfulness of Leon Russell. So this tune tonight is a song, uh, you know, uh, Guy Phillips, you know, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but Guy Phillips actually kept saying to me, man, why don't you learn how to play this tune, you know? And it was just a tune of his, and he knew it was like a, a very difficult tune, especially for anybody to try to sing it. So <laughs> here's Guy Phillips. <laughs> I've been so many places in my lifetime. I sung a lot of songs, made some bad rhymes. I acted out my life in stages, 10,000 people watching. But we're alone now, and I'm singing my song for you. I know your image of me is what I'd hoped to be. You treated me unkindly, darling, can't you see? There's no one more important to me. Baby, can't you see through me? Cause we're alone now and I'm singing my song for you. You taught me precious secrets of the truth without being nothing. You came home and from when I was hiding. So much better. My words don't come together. Listen to the melody, cause my love is hiding. Space of time. I love you all my life, your friend of mine. And when my life is over, remember we were together. We were alone, and I was singing my song for you. We were alone, and I was singing my song for you. The 
Leon Russell. Ronnie and Jody, wow. That was beautiful, guys. But a, and it was a nice transition from the epic chaos that <laughs> prefaced. Um, that sounded great, Jody. Wow, amazing. You're getting a lot of shout outs online, by the way. I think you got some people watching. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. You are listening to Southport Live, a stream coming from R&B's house. And uh, we thank American Fish for supporting live music. And of course, um, our main objective is to play music and hope that you enjoy it. But also, um, we are trying to raise money for upyourarts.org, which is a wonderful part of our little world that we've got going on here. We talk so much about all the artists that are in town and the need for people to help keep things organized. So Save the Hall, y'all, is a campaign um, that is well worth any donation you could make. You can go straight to upyourarts.org. Uh, the link, I think, is um, continuously in the feed of this stream, so that would be great. You can go to their website and really get the details of what it's all about, but um, we got a nice little taste last week with Dennis here, who actually had been part of that building and in an, a musical sense back in the day. So now um, we're re we wanting to repurpose that building and, and be able to continue to uh, support, advocate, and, and, and keep the arts alive in Southport um, and all forms of art, music, painting, um, all of it. What did you say, Beth? Pottery, sculpture. Pottery. All of it. Shout out to Carl Edstrom Pottery. Yes, yes. And, and let's not begin Spence. Yeah, I was just about to say that very same thing. So we, 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 we need that, and um, we need it as artists, and, and the community needs it as a, as a place to, to focus. So we welcome your um, donations if you could go to upyourarts.org or just click on that link in the feed. So um, today we're featuring Ronnie Weinstein, and this is kind of a, 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 a weird, yeah, because we all know Ronnie, and of course Ronnie and I are our besties, and um, so this is a weird scenario to be like this, in this intimate setting with no people <laughs> in the room except Beverly, who looks lovely in red. I hope you get a chance to see her before this hour is up. But Ronnie, um, it's been a weird thing, right? Everything sort of stopped, and so people like you need to find other avenues to keep yourselves exactly busy and um, you've kept Ageless Yoga going online and uh, 90 virtual streams. Yeah, I mean it's amazing and I have I have I feel <laughs> very grateful that you've done that um, and also with music so yeah. this is a nice little way in which you can play these intimate songs and be heard and, and get it out so um, what are some of the inspirations I know um, we have been lucky enough to get to know some really good songwriters. Yeah. And uh, a lot of them we got through Guy, yeah. including a boy coyote. Yeah, and, and uh, this, uh, this, this next tune, some of you might have heard me do it. I always try to do it whenever I'm playing uh, solo, w which is usually rare. And, uh, and so tonight with Jody, it was a great opportunity. There's a song, uh, it's called Flow Like a River, and it was written by uh, a close friend of Guy Phillips uh, many years ago, and uh, I actually happened to have met um, Chuck Larson, who known as Coyote, and Guy said, go visit him, and he happens to live in the Outer Banks where my daughter is, and I went to visit him. In the swamp. In the swamps. <laughs> I kind of felt like I was like the green hornet trying to get to the, crazy driving into to the his bat house. cave or whatever it is. He was from a band called Snuff, by the way, which was very, very big back in the day. And so, and so he, he, wrote the, he wrote this song, and it's, it's a great song. And Guy Phillips was alive and well at the time and, and busting everybody's chops mm -hmm. like he usually His does. Favorite thing. And then, uh, but this song really represented Guy extremely well. And I had the opportunity to play this tune with uh, Chuck Larson and Steve Boone of the Love and Spoonful, Steve Boone, at Guy's Life Celebration. Mm -hmm. And so I, I always like to do this song, and this is in honor for, uh, I guess Guy would be considered my champion. He hooked <laughs> me up with Christine, he hooked me up with Dennis Walton, he hooked me up with Rev. All of the people that I, I spend my time playing with is all because of Guy Phillips. So uh, this goes out to Guy Phillips. Go, Ronnie. A 
just an old man don't move too fast still got some road in front of me but most of it's past spent some time on the wheels sometimes tied to the mast as i sit and watch this crazy life go by so fast you got flow like a river don't waste your time swimming against the tide. Be less a taker, more giver, and spend less time being angry and more time being kind. And if you're strong enough to care, just the fact that you are there is going to shine. A little light in someone's life Just by living you lead a better world behind I might be around for a while I might not be here too long Guess I better hurry on up and write down this song. Oh, there were times when I was blessed. Sometimes felt that I was cursed. Standing knee deep in the river of life, dying of thirst. You got flow. Like a river, don't waste your time swimming against the tide. Be less a taker, more giver, and spend less time being angry and more time being kind. And if you're strong enough to care, just the fact that you were there is going to shine a little light in someone's life just by better hurry on up and write down this song oh there were times when i felt blessed sometimes thought i was cursed standing knee deep in the river of life dying of thirst but you got to flow like a river you don't waste your time swimming against the tide be less a taker, more giver, and spend less time being angry and more time being kind. And if you're strong enough to care, just the fact that you were there is going to shine a little light in someone's life. Just by living, you need a better world behind Just by living you need a better world behind Rest in peace Guy Phillips
Only Rick Krantz. Show there's a couple of drummers out there that are thinking the exact same thing. Oh, okay, okay. It seems the blues will never ever leave me. It seems the blues will never go away. And that's a fact. I seem so downhearted. Since my love and I've departed, but the blues keep coming back. I caught the blues when my baby left me. I'm so blue all along and acute. That I was infected with a virus called the blues. Went to my family doctor to get a little relief. I told them all about you, baby. I walked the floor, my heart was in grief. I told them what you mean to me. He said, go home. Ronnie, there's nothing I can do for you. Go on home. I got no good news for you. No antibiotics, got a virus called the blue.
That was two of my uh, favorite uh, piano players, Dr. John and Charles Brown. Awesome. We got a couple more tunes lined up here. And that's the, that's the, uh, that's the mayor of Southport. <laughs> the real mayor of Southport. <laughs> no offense to the real mayors. So uh, the next one on the hit parade is Joni Mitchell. And Joni Mitchell via Diana Krall. As you might know, Elvis C Costello's wife, mother of his two twins. And she is uh, a killer piano player. And I, when I listened to her, she reminded me of somebody named Gene Harris who uh, used to play in Atlanta, uh, in an Atlanta blues station. And he was known as Mean Gene and his Blues Machine, favorite of Beverly and mine. So uh, I'll leave out all of his embellishments. <laughs> Just before our love got lost, you said I am as constant as the northern star Constant in the darkness Where's that at? You want me, I'll be at the bar on the back of a cartoon coaster In a blue TV screen light I drew a map of Canada Oh, Canada With your face sketched on it twice Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine Tastes so bitter, tastes so sweet Why oh, could you drink? A case of you, darling And still be on my feet Still be on my feet I am a lonely painter Living a box of paints Frightened by the devil And I'm drawn to those That ain't afraid Oh, I remember The time you told me You said love is touching souls Surely you touch my cause Part of you pours out of me These lines From time to time Oh, you're in my blood Like holy wine Tastes so bitter, tastes so sweet Why? drink a case of you, darling, and still be on my feet, still be on my feet. She had a mouth like yours. She knew your life. She knew your devils and your deeds. She said, go to him, stay with him. If you can, but be prepared to bleed. Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine. Tastes so bitter, tastes so sweet. Oh, I could drink a case of you, darling. And still be on my Still be on my feet. Diana Crawl, case of you. 
So I hope everyone's doing okay out there. This is a real treat for me, um, playing with Jody. Uh, never really get to play with a horn player, but I always enjoy it every single time whenever I do get to play with her. And so I appreciate you being here, Jody. And uh, Well, let me say I appreciate this, and this is the first time I've been able to play with another human being <laughs> since this thing started, you know, uh, since play with my own band, obviously. And so just to be able to play something, I've been just taking my horn out to a, a park at uh, downtown Cary and uh, a couple of times just out here to the ocean and just sat there and played with my sea bass. I hear you. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So this next song, final song, of course, you can't, uh, you know, play keys without uh, thinking about Billy Joel. And uh, this is a shout out to my big sister, Donna, in New York. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. But I'm taking a Greyhound on the Hudson River line. I'm in a New York state of mind. Seen all the movie stars, fancy cars, and their limousines. I've been high in the Rockies on the Evergreens, but I know what I'm needing, and I don't want to waste more time. I'm in a New York state of mind. It was so easy living day by day. Had a touch with the rhythm and blues. But now I need a little give and take. The New York Times. Oh. comes down to reality fine with me I've let it slide I don't care if it's Chinatown or on Riverside I know what I'm meaning and I don't want to waste more time I'm in a New York state of mind
river life. I'm in a New York state of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Billy Joel. That was beautiful. Thank you, everybody, for for staying with us. We had a lot of people out there listening. Jody, what a treat! You sounded amazing. What a lovely addition to uh, to all of this, Ronnie. Sounded so good. Thank you. I know I it, I never get to see you do this, so that was awesome. Jason, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm getting to know Jason so well here in this little, last little bit. Yeah. Jason Pullen helping us on sound. Sound evolutions. You sound need, evolutions you need, and his you need beautiful sound, bride, Mandy. You need too. a sound man or you need uh, sound gear. He's the man. Da, da, da. Beautiful Beverly Weinstein on the camera uh, direction today. Thank you, R&B, for, um, for welcoming, us, welcoming us into your house. So up your arts. Again, thanks to everyone who has donated. Please continue. <laughs> There's Beverly. Uh, please continue to donate. And um, because of the craziness, I didn't get to speak as much about Up Your Arts as I, I would like to. But I do welcome you to really uh, just check out their Facebook page, and, and you can learn more about them that way. But Save the Hall, y'all. Most of you listening know what that's all about. Um, we welcome your donations. Um, next week, <laughs> I can read your mind now, Ronnie. Um, we have from uh, Lockwood River Band. Hello. Uh, Ray Richardson and Denny Deloche, and we can't wait to see them. We've got some interesting pairs. Uh, Ronnie has been, has done a great job casting this cast of characters. Uh, Megan and uh, Justin Sternberg will be here soon. I'm super excited about that. Um, a whole ben, different. Ben White's going to be playing. Wyatt. A bunch of different. Ben White. Ben White. Oh my gosh, all by himself. He won't be nervous at all, will you, Ben? Um, thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, thank you for helping us try and continue to entertain you and bring you some music. Um, I want to personally thank Ronnie and Beverly for bringing so much light in the dark times and, and weird times. I can always count on Ronnie for, for lifting me up with light and uh, love. And Speaking of love, let's keep putting love out there. It's easy to love your brother, but how are you doing with your enemy? Let's love. Southport Live will be back here next week at 7 o'clock, Thursday at 7. It is uh, in part thanks to American Fish. It's all about Up Your Arts. R&B Studios, this is Southport Live, and we thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Martinez, by the way. <laughs>